So we're gonna put a park bench under the tree in our front yard next to the creek. But today's video is not gonna be so much of a tutorial as it is just a DIY video because I personally don't have a whole lot of experience in what we're doing today, but that's why I'm on my way to my parents' house. Or you can bring this over like this. The rust doesn't matter. It's not gonna, they're so thick they won't make it. Oh gosh, no. They're 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 as thick as that pencil. Yeah. So so and this just looks better if you don't have this in there. So we have these metal beams that were salvaged from my dad's automotive shop when that burned last year. And we have this wood that my dad cut with his Alaskan sawmill. It's been sitting out here to dry for quite some time. There you go. We'll go back to measuring again. We see if we find one that's either this long and this long, you know, this one's long, or we go this long and this long. Yeah. And this one we have to cut our angles. So it's leaned back. Yeah, so it okay. leans back. Let's do that. I trust your judgment more than mine on this because I don't ever weld them. So while my dad finishes welding up the frames out there, we're going to continue working with these planks. So I don't personally have a ton of woodworking experience. I have a little bit, but I'm by no means a professional. So with my wood projects, I rarely use any kind of finishing coat, but that changes today. So Total Boat saw my videos and was generous enough to send me some rugged clear satin varnish in the mail. And I'm super excited to use this in a video. So they went ahead and they sent me these with this the stuff I need to use it and we're gonna use this on our planks for the bench before we bolt it all together well hopefully I'm doing this right I think it's looking all right this is only the first coat I think it's looking good um, I heard my dad shut off his generator, which was powering the welder. So I'm gonna go take a look and see if he got those done. And then we'll come back and we'll do another coat of this. Though I don't know that you need me to film the second, third, and fourth coat of this. Cause you get the idea, brush it on, let it dry, wait an hour, do it again, right? So. I might just to when this is done so so we dribbled and rubbed some muriatic acid on the legs to make them rusty again where we had to grind them down we debated spray painting the legs black but we all agreed that they looked kind of cool rusty plus they have some sentimental value having been reclaimed after the fire that took out my dad's business so these are remnants from my dad's business that burned down so we're gonna leave them rusty so the muriatic acid will make those clean parts rusty again, so they'll look more even. And my boards still need another coat of the clear coat, but it's getting dark and I'm ready to take this thing home. So we're gonna bolt it together now and I'm gonna put another coat on it tomorrow. Hey, 
Joe, can you hold your strawberry up? Is it in your mouth? You ate it already? Okay, so this was actually done like three weeks ago, but then I broke my computer. So it took me a long time to get this video finished. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's like the perfect size, it's in the perfect spot. It's right under this tree. I put some string lights up on a solar panel here so they light up when the sun goes down. We got a bird feeder above us. I have more work to do in the space around this, which is why there's some grass here and there, but that's another project. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button below and leave me a comment for the algorithm. I really appreciate the support and we'll see you guys in the next video. People send me stuff in the mail now. Does this make me a real YouTuber?